This Christmas Eve, you might be tempted to snuggle up to the fire with your loved ones and watch your favorite holiday movie. And we asked CBS correspondent Mo Rocca to come up with his own unique list of Christmas classics. And let's just say, uh, <laughs> instead of snuggling, you should really get ready to shout, cheer, and cry because his list is more naughty than nice. You may be among the millions making the annual pilgrimage to Macy's, site of the miracle on 34th Street. But for a Christmas movie road less traveled, follow me. Love Actually is an ensemble tour de force. Hugh Grant, Colin Firth, Emma Thompson, the incomparable Laura Linney weave bittersweet tales. Actually, I'm in love. Of childhood love. Love too long denied. You've made the life I lead foolish too. And love that's lost its spark. It's one of those movies that looks like it might be kind of dopey. You know, the ones packed with way too many stars. But this one's really good, trust me. In Die Hard, a young Bruce Willis with hair is a New York City cop who thwarts an attack by German terrorists barefoot. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki What's a holiday party in L.A. without some good old machine gun fire? And enough murder and mayhem to last you through the new year. For an R-rated Santa, you won't want to miss Billy Bob Thornton in Bad Santa. If I'd known I was going to have to put up with a bunch of screaming brats pissing on my lap for 30 days out of the year, I would have killed myself a long time ago. He may be a lecherous, safe-cracking drunk and one of the darkest Santas you'll ever meet. Where's your sleigh? It's in the shop getting repaired. But his soft heart for an abused kid makes for a sort of happy ending. For a hauntingly beautiful white Christmas, travel back in time to World War II and Ardennes, France, where Gary Sinise and Ethan Hawke star in a midnight clear. The movie evokes the universality of the human experience during a temporary truce on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. And the meaninglessness of war. Black Christmas is a campy house of horrors, and I love it. Olivia Hussey and Margot Kidder are sorority sisters hunted down by a methodical killer. What do you want? Why are you doing this? The obscene phone calls wouldn't be nearly as scary without those 1970s telephones with a certain ring. In Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack the Pumpkin King is the ultimate in mixed metaphors. As Jack tries to discover the meaning of the season, the real Santa is held captive by the boogeyman. Me on vacation on Christmas Eve? Steven Spielberg's Gremlins is a holiday sci-fi movie with a twist. What is it? It's your new pet. <laughs> Dad, it's, it's really neat. Billy gets a cute little creature from his failed inventor dad. But then the creatures turn bad, thank goodness, because they're covered in primordial goo. This is a cocoon, and inside, he's going through changes. Think holiday Frankenstein. It's Dave Myers. He does Santa every year. Naturally, the evil gremlins end up taking over the entire town. But they can't stop Christmas. Mo Rocca, CBS News, Macy's. <laughs> How many were on your list? You know, I, well, I, none of the ones on Mo's list are on my list, but it's interesting that so many of yours are oh, on his love, list. Love Actually and Bad Santa, of course. I saw National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation just that, the other day on that's TV. Funny. Hysterical. I love that movie. It's fun on Christmas to watch a non traditional movie sometimes. It is. To make you laugh. But bad Santa. Don't don't have bad any kids. Santa. You have no kids in the house when you're watching it, but I guarantee you it is a scream. A Russ Mitchell favorite. <laughs> that is right.